everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Becca with the House of Lenormand. Um, I thought I'd go around today and show you guys. Um, I, I've been getting questions about this right here. So um, we're currently in my little room that you guys see me in doing readings. Um, so I've had questions about, this is the desk that you see behind me um, <clears throat> when I'm over there. Hold on. When I'm right over there reading you guys um this is what you see behind me so let's um let's take a quick peek there's nothing special up there it's just a bunch of junk <laughs> so um these are some crow feathers and stuff i have found over the years this one's really raggedy look at that i just can't seem to part with it um, this here is uh, crow feathers um, for saging. I think this is a turkey feather also for saging. Um, here's that little piece I bought the other day at Leaf. Um, let me see. Back here I have some um, selenite towers with um, some bracelets that I wear. So, And here's that piece I bought at Leaf. Um, I put some um, Labradorite in here. So these are some of my favorites, and then some of Venturine. Um, my this is the little bowl I bought the other day as well at, at Leaf. The the um, what is this? Selenite, and I put my charms in there. This these are the charms that come with the set. Um, for the, well, I guess, yeah, you can buy the kit, the mat from Karen, from Tea with Karen, and it comes with these charms. Um, these are some extra charms that I purchased. Um, I got some letters and numbers and symbols in this one. <sighs> Celestite, and then there's, um, Amethyst Tower, Rose Quartz Tower, a bunch of little quartz, some more celestite selenite ball these are the little charms and the dice that come with the um the curiosity system um have my buddha back there with the abalone shell there's the the um little aladdin thing it doesn't do anything really it's just it's empty there's nothing in there see it's just I thought it was cool <laughs> and then over here um, I got some more celestite some more amethyst more um, quartz towers little trinket dish here um, these are rainbow fluorite towers um, that's rose quartz and then in here more celestite <laughs> I have a thing for um, for celestite um, more celestite, more celestite. Um, there's my little essential oils little tower thing, a bell. This little thing here I got in Europe when we were in, in Britain, in London. I think I got that at the um, Westminster, <clears throat> excuse me, Westminster um, gift shop. When we went to Westminster, some Palo Santo, some pyrite here. So yeah, that's basically just like a quick overview of what's back there. Nothing but a bunch of crap, <laughs> you guys. I just got stuff thrown all over that thing. Um, in this drawer up here, I just have a bunch of um, reading cloths. These are um, dish towels that are made to look like Persian rugs. Um, this is the one that was making my, my camera go crazy the other day, so I'm not going to use this one on videos anymore. But um, Persian dish towel. This right here is a Turkish bath towel. They're really large, and I really like them, so I use them for uh, tea leaf. Uh, not tea leaf, but um, readings. There's another one down there, another Turkish bath towel. These right here, these are just regular tea towels. I use these as well. And then here's that piece that I bought at Leaf, the Indigo. And then some more reading cloths down there. Um... And then I got some stuff here to clean. Ah, knocked you over. Sorry guys, I'm filming on my iPad. Um, and this one here, 
Um, I just have some flashcards here for studying. Um, so my T Chars, my Lenormand. Um, I made a bunch of um, flashcards. Here's my uh, the set. These are this is the learner deck that comes from um, Tea with Karen. Um, so I got well this little deck right here. This is part of the curiosity. This one right here is um, the learner deck from Tea with Karen for the tea cards. Um, and here I just have tarot decks, um, some, what do you call these, earphones. Here's that, um, the Grand Jew that I'm going to be studying here. I haven't even had a chance to look at this yet. Um, some, what do you call these, the lighters for when I'm doing incense. And then in here I just have my mini sized, um, uh, Cheeto Marchetti decks, they're in here. And then in this one, I just have a tarot deck. Um, these boxes are from Cheeto Marchetti. Um, you can find them on his website. This is the, the Lenormand one with the key, card number 33. The key in this one here is, um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is from a new deck I just bought. And then this one is a Taurus. So, oh, and this is Bean's little, this roll thing is from from when we lost Bean. Um, and here, um, let me see, I just have a bunch of books, um, Angels and Norman Study Guides. Uh, this here is the mat for the tea charms. This is the back side. And then I have the, <clears throat> the little curiosity thing here for the uh, Karen system. If you're wondering why I have a bag of roasted pe uh, shelled peanuts, it's because I'm trying to befriend the uh, local neighborhood crows. <laughs> and that's a speaker. That's all my filming equipment in there. Um, and then this here, this is where I keep all of my incense. Um, well, not all of it. My resins mostly. Um, let me see if I can... Sorry guys, it's a really cloudy day here, so the lighting's not very good. Um, so let's see here. Um, cacaria here. A little white candle. Um, this thing is empty. This is from like, I used this little jar. It's, I recycled it. There was saffron in here from Trader Joe's. Um, so I recycled it. This is some aura spray. Aura smudge spray. I picked this up at Henry's, the grocery store. Um, let's see here. This right here, I love sweet grass. And I was able to find this sweet grass mist by this place, uh, Niowan. Um, I found this on Amazon. It's fairly expensive. It smells like sweet grass. The thing is, it doesn't stick around. Um, for those of you that are familiar with sweet grass, you know that the smell is, um, it can be very subtle, so and the grass itself doesn't lend itself to the extraction process for oils. So, um, but I mean, it smells really good. It just doesn't last. So and then I ended up getting the the bath and body oil, and this one, if I layer it this with the oil and the body spray, then it does smell a little bit longer. But it just mostly. Um, doesn't last very long. I have some Palo Santo spray back there, some sand from when I'm burning um, coals. These are all of my resins. Let's see, I have frankincense in here. Um, I have some myrrh. Let's see, what's this? Dragon's blood here. Really good stuff. Purifying and cleansing. Uh, some copal in here. Um, let's see what else. Some, uh, I don't know how to say it, and I guess you guys told me it was camphor in, in Spanish, it's camphor. Um, here to clean, let me see what else. Some Palo Santo resin, um, let me see, and sandalwood, white sandalwood powder. Um, let me see what else I got in here. This is some amber resin, again, in one of those little bottles that was left over. And this is some protection loose incense blend. Um, 
You see it comes with this copal, pine, dragon's blood, juniper berry, frankincense, and benzoin is what's in that one. So hold on, let me put all this stuff back. Uh, give me one second, guys. Okay. <laughs> so that's what's up there. And then down here, I have a bunch of stuff from Swiss Arabian. Um, these are all perfume samples that they sent me because I keep ordering. <laughs> um, some Bakur from Swiss Arabia, some sample from Swiss Arabian. Um, more Bakur from Swiss Arabian. This one I really like. This one, I mean, it's okay, but there's not much that comes in there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. There's... There's not very much before in that one. Um, here's that room spray that I like to use sometimes. Um, and then down here, back here, I have all these little things that I use for saging. So sometimes when I'm just cleaning my cards, this is a little cast iron, little, um, little I don't know, it looks like a little witch's pot. It's got a handle. So I'll just put some sand if I'm burning coal in here. Um, some sand in there and then the coal so because this thing will get really hot um but mostly i just put sage in here to clean my cards really quick and then some more i mean these things are all nasty look because i just i burn stuff in them all the time um some more bakur more bakur from swiss arabia um some florida water and then way back there in the back that you're not gonna be able to see um i have um holy water and all that sort of stuff. So let me put this back and I'll be right back. Yeah, so these boxes here, that's the extra bakur that you get the samples when you order the, the kit that comes with a big bag of bakur. Um, you get the bakur, the um, electric incense burner, and then they throw one red, one black, and one brown. Um, but I just have a big stock of them and then they gave me this because I just, I said I just keep buying crap I don't need. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's that in there. Okay, so in here, this is the closet. Um, in here I have some more incense. Um, I have a bunch of sweet grass, um, some Frank Souls um, incense. That one there is my favorite. Um, it's the sweet frankincense, uh, lemongrass, desert patchouli. This one I haven't had the desert patchouli, I haven't had much luck getting it to burn. Um, like, it doesn't even go on. So I need to take this back to Chris and see if I can exchange it. Uh, some copal, dragon's blood, a bunch of sweet grass. Um, Palo Santo sticks here. Um, let's see here. Some black tourmaline. Um, rose quartz, angel light, more black tourmaline. Um, I forget what that one is. Some agate, more celestite. Um, these little rocks here I picked up at the cemetery in France um, where uh, Mademoiselle uh, Marianne Adelaide Lenormand is resting. I picked those up there. Um, some more black tourmaline. That there is moissanite. Got some bismuth. Um, and then here I have some... Um, postcards that I picked up at St. Chapelle's when we went to France. This right here, do not come after me. <laughs> this is not a, a real elephant tusk. It's made out of resin. Um, this was one of the things my mom got. One of the very first things she got when she came here to the United States. Um, and she had gifted it to me many, many years ago. So um, I've hung on to it. Um, my little sister broke it. That's why it's like cracked. And my mom had to put it back together but um it's resin it's not real okay um here I have some untumbled uh rough uh white quartz some rose quartz back there some um desert roses also known as uh more selenite um so yeah and then a little thing up there and then um let's see here down there is my holy water. That box is full of decks. And then here I have some cedar, sage, palo santo. Um, those two little things are to burn incense, a selenite wand. That little thing there has sweet grass that I cut from there um, that 
that I've been putting on coals and then a bag of, a bag of frankincense. Um, I think I'm going to take these out and show you guys what ducks I have. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so see, these are some of the Lenormand ducks that I have. Um, this one, I forget which one it's called. I know Johnny would know it because he has the same one. Um, but my sister got me this one. Um, they're pretty large. I mean, if I put my hand there, you see how big those are? Um, they're very, very large, but they're very pretty. Um, so my sister had give, gifted me this for my birthday, I think last year or the year before. Um, here we have just the regular French cardamom. See, this is one of the ones that I really like to use. I mean, this one's all banged up and beat up because I just use it so much. Um, Cheeto Marchetti. Um, this one here, I think it's the Celtic. I'm not quite sure. Um, don't use it very often simply because, I don't know, I just haven't really, haven't really clicked with those. These here I don't use at all, all that much, um, mostly because it does not have the playing card insert, and it comes with these little sayings inside um, where the playing card insert should be, kind of like here on the French cardamancy ones. Um, it has these little messages inside, um, so I, I don't really use those at all. This is a um, Oracle from Cheeto Marchetti an oracle deck. I just, I bought it because I love his artwork. <laughs> um, it's super, super cool. Um, here I have the, um, the Nouveau one. This one also does not have playing card inserts. This is a deck that I would not recommend for beginners simply because the, some of the images are very, very busy. Um, while they are beautiful, they're they're quite busy. So if you're not familiar with the numbering system and which one is which, like if you got this, you wouldn't know if that's the woman or what it is. This card number nine is the bouquet, um, but there's a woman holding it here. So um, this is something I wouldn't advise for beginners. This is something that I just got in the mail. It took like three months to get here. This Lenormand deck, it's um, this one right here, the Lenormand Oracle Mystery Secrets. Um, it's quite, I mean, it's stunning. I'm going to have to go put these back and go through that with you guys because it's, it's gorgeous. Um, here's my kipper that I'm still studying. Um, I have the Fairy Lenormand, um, the French cardamancy ones, but these are huge. Like, again, they're, they're massive. They're very, very large. Um, I have these little ones here. The pictures on here kind of look like the pictures on the old Rider Waite decks from um, tarot but they do have the playing card inserts it's only down here on the bottom and this one here I can't remember which one this is if this is the Celtic or which one and then of course Rana George up there um, let me put these back and I'm gonna go through that one with you guys and I also forgot to show you guys um, this one here the Divine Animals Oracle by Stacy DeMarco been using these off camera I really really like them they're super cool um, but yeah let's go through this one um, I found it on Etsy I think they have it on Amazon as well but it was coming from Russia so it took about god I want to say two and a half three months to get here um, it's the Lenormand Oracle secrets Oracle cards mystery secrets um, and it's by um, Taraco Studios let me see yeah, to Rocco Studios. Um, they have another Lenormand deck as well, but it's been out of stock that I really, really liked. I wanted to get it. Um, so it comes with this little booklet. And um, it tells you about the cards. Um, it gives you keywords for the cards, what it, but it does not tell you whether these are positive or negative. That's something that you're going to have to learn. So let's do a quick flip through. Um, this one here is the fish, card number 34. Um, the letter. The ring. Stars. Isn't that pretty? And it does come with the playing card inserts at the bottom here. Tower. The mice. Look at them. They're all having a party up there. <laughs> the mice. The cross. Bear, 
moon mountain that's a pretty mountain that's really cool scythe um, and this is another reason why I do not use directionality with um, the scythe card some people do let me show you a quick example okay so here on the left we have the Rana George scythe card you see how it's pointing to the right well here it's pointing to the left um, some people tend to use directionality. I do not use directionality with these. Um, I know you can do it as well for the clouds. Um, typically the clouds card has the dark side on the left and the lighter side on the right, but not all decks are like that. So I tend to not use directionality all that much um, simply because of little things like this. I have decks where the male is facing to the left. I have decks where the male is facing to the right. And same thing with the female cards. So I, I tend not to um, not to use directionality. I, I, I steer away from it. Um, it's only very rarely that I do. Um, so anyways, back to this. Here's the scythe anchor. Oh, that's not going to work right there. That's pretty. Heart. The fox. That's a cool fox. Let's see here, the man, broom and whip, child, the child's kind of creepy, is it just me or is that kid kind of creepy, I think that kid's creepy, okay, the sun, book, that's really cool, I like that picture, garden, tree, Crossroads, that's pretty. Clover, that's really cute. Woman, house, that's a cool picture. Dog, oh that's really pretty. I want that puppy, he's cute. Birds, little hummingbirds, and you can see the water droplets, that's super cool. Very pretty card. Writer. Key, ship, coffin, that's a cool coffin card, clouds, see here it's dark on the on the left, lighter on the right, I have ducks where it's just one big huge cloud, um, so like I said, I don't use directionality, snake, that's cool. Let me see here. Storks. The stork. The lilies. That's really pretty. And lastly, we have the bouquet. That's really cool. Okay, let me put this back. Um, and again, that was a quick brief tour of the Taraco Studios Lenormand Oracle Cards Mystery Secrets. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, that's what this video was about. Just a quick tour of what's up there with all that junk um so yeah oh this piece here is from pier one i don't know if anybody's going to want to know pier one um they're going they're currently having a huge sale because they're going out of business so um yeah but that's what's up there um i wanted to go ahead and say thank you to everyone that scheduled readings with me this last weekend it was loads and loads and loads of fun to do readings for you guys um it was, it was loads of fun. So thank you so very, 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 very much. Um, I do currently have a couple of spots available for this Saturday. Um, so please email me. Um, the email will be in the description box of this video below. It's houseoflenormandreadings at gmail.com. Again, you'll find it in the description box. But uh, yeah, that's a quick tour of what's going on in this room. So <laughs> that's where I sit. To do my readings this is where you guys see me and then on very rare occasions when the demon neighbors down there are being crazy I'm in this little corner with the reading table um, hiding out right back there so yeah um, thank you everybody and uh, you guys have a wonderful wonderful uh, week um, I'm gonna try to get on and do a reading on the stuff with that judge even though they did come out and say that um, that um, the suspect 
um, is no longer with us. So I know there's a bunch of questions. So um, thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you all on my next one. Bye.